Today, I'm trying a new embroidery kit. Some assembly required. I feel like following directions today. Maybe not making a whole lot of creative decisions, but still making something cool. So I'm gonna try this kit. I found it at a toy store a few months ago and I thought it looked cute and not too fussy. I don't have a lot of experience with embroidery, so this seems like my speed. Ambitious beginner? Sounds about right. I also checked out their website, hooklinetinker.com, and there are even more cool kits if this is your jam. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Oh, cute! So we've got the hoop, and then let's see what's in the envelope. Greetings from Nova Scotia! That's a nice touch. I like that. There's a stitch guide with all the basic stitches. That will help in case I've forgotten anything. Three colors of embroidery floss. They look pretty together. Let's see what else. Oh, nice! It tells you which stitches to use where. And it gives you some alternatives. That's clever, in case you're not comfortable with a particular stitch. And there's instructions on the back. And finally, our needle and the pre-printed fabric. Great! I'll just pop the fabric into the hoop and get started. Um, lining it up is hard for me, but I think that looks about right. Now I'll pull out three strands of black, about 18 inches long, and thread my needle. Okay, no more putting it off. It is time to start. I think I should start with the black outlines. I could be wrong, but they are at least pretty straightforward back stitches, which should be confidence building, hopefully. So far, so good. I am trying to make my stitches pretty even, which is a little hard, but I feel like they look okay. There, that's the bird all outlined. He is so cute and round. And now, more of the same for the rest of the outlines. I really like these shapes at the tops of the flowers. I think they're flowers. I don't know why, but they are really fun to sew. So far, I feel like this kit is pretty nice. It's hard enough that I need to pay attention, but not so hard that it's stressful. Just a few more leaves and stems to go before the outline is finished. Ah, another knot? But I think it's looking pretty good. Now I can add some color. I think I'll start with yellow. Tummy first. These are supposed to be individual chains, so let's see if I can make some of those. You come up and then back in at one end of the little line, and then you tack the loop down with a stitch at the other end.
Ah, I'm doing it! They aren't quite as pretty as the examples, but I am totally okay with that. They look a little weird because no other color is stitched yet, or at least I hope that's why. Yellow Ziggy Zaggy's next. These should be pretty simple, just more back stitches. they really do give some nice texture. Next up is blue. I'll start on the wing with back stitches and chains. And am I saving the satin stitch for last? Yes, I am. These little curvy feathers are going to need teeny tiny little stitches to keep them smooth. Nice. Now these chain stitches should be like the individual chains, but with more loops strung together in a line. And here's the final chain, yay! Except now there's no more putting off the satin stitch. They do say on the instructions that you could fill the space with French knots instead or leave them blank, but I might as well practice what I'm scared of, right? First, I'll make a stitch a little bit in from the corner just to establish the direction that I want these guys to go in. And then I will try to flatten the stitch so it's not all twisted. I am not sure that actually helps. I mean, it's looking okay so far. I just have to keep filling it in. Okay, one down, three to go. Ta-da, I satin stitched. Huh. However, I am not quite finished. I forgot to add yellow to the beak and black to the eye. Whoopsies, I'll do that now. Looks like the beak is supposed to be a satin stitch. But there's not really much space for a lot of stitches, so I think this should be fine. And I think the eye would look all right as a French knot. Yeah. Now I can just tuck in the extra fabric and it's all finished. I cut about an inch of border, then I'm going to hot glue it down around the inside of the hoop. Then I cut out this little circle of cardboard that I can just stick right in. That was fun. It's a nice little kit. I recommend it. Maybe next time I can come up with some sort of a design on my own. That'll be something to work up to. And here is what the cardboard looks like on the back. You can, I think, also cover the cardboard with fabric, but that seemed like too much effort for something no one is going to see. <laughs> but this is kind of nice to shove all the fabric into the back, and I'm satisfied. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love that. New videos come out every Saturday. So until the next one, be awesome, and I'll see you then.